pandas. Lovable, cute, or lovable and cute? That and more on this week's China Uncensored. This is China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. This week's China news headlines. Big news today, folks. A panda born in America is heading to China. There's nothing bigger or more important in China news. It's time to say goodbye to Bei Bei. The National Zoo's beloved giant panda Bei Bei has reached the age of four years old, and that means, per tradition, it's time to move from Washington, D.C. to China. Oh, hi, Bei Bei boy. Everyone loves pandas, right? They even made this special cake for him. Of course, no one ever made a special cake for me, even when it's my birthday, Shelly. Bebe even got to fly to China in first class on the Panda Express. Yeah, that panda got to fly better than you ever will. And he'll have a lot to look forward to back in China, like people smelling his poop. <laughs> Golly! Well, thanks for watching China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. Okay, have the YouTube censors clicked off? Good. Stupid pandas. Sorry, everyone. YouTube has been soft censoring all our critical China content, so I'm trying to throw them off the scent with panda poop. Oh, be sure to comment below about how much you love China. The YouTube censor bots might check the comments, too. See, the only reason China Uncensored is still on the air is because viewers like you contribute to the crowdfunding website Patreon. If it weren't for that, YouTube would have run us out of business years ago. So if you can, and you're like me and you really don't want to hear about pandas, head over to patreon.com slash China Uncensored. Okay, on to the real China news. Guess what? China isn't all pandas. The New York Times published 400 pages of leaked internal documents about the crackdown on ethnic minorities in Xinjiang. Over a million people in Xinjiang, mostly ethnic Uyghurs, are in what are essentially concentration camps. In an internal speech, which these documents reveal, Chinese leader Xi Jinping called for an all-out struggle against terrorism, infiltration, and separatism using the organs of dictatorship and showing absolutely no mercy. Yeah, she loves to whip out his organ of dictatorship. That's the kind of thing you won't hear on Panda Uncensored. Not only that, but documents instruct Chinese police to tell children of detained Uyghurs that if they speak out, their parents will be kept even longer in those concentration camps. I mean, training centers. Obviously, the Chinese Communist Party was not too pleased about the leak. Xinjiang authorities said, America's New York Times has again fabricated and concocted fake news about Xinjiang. This is nothing more than getting up to its old tricks and is completely unworthy of refutation. Which is a great line, because they can't refute it. China is gearing up for America's 2020 presidential elections. They're practicing by interfering in Taiwan's 2020 presidential elections. China intervening in our elections is not something that happens on one or two days. That's very clear. This is more or less the consensus of Taiwan's people. China is using various means to intervene in Taiwan's election to damage our democracy. Taiwan's elections are in January, and the Chinese Communist Party wants to make sure someone friendly to Beijing gets elected in Taiwan next year just like it would like to make sure someone friendly to Beijing gets elected in the U.S. next year. So the party's just getting a little practice in ahead of time. Last week, the U.S. conducted a freedom of navigation operation by sailing a warship through the Taiwan Strait. And I made a joke about it. The U.S. has sailed another warship through the Strait of Taiwan, which is honestly kind of a mixed signal. Yeah, it shows that the U.S. is ready to defend their ally, but it also means that if the U.S. can sail a warship through the Taiwan Strait, China can too. Well, obviously, China's military does not understand jokes. A few days later, they did sail their own warship through the Taiwan Strait. This is exactly the kind of situation that could spiral out of control. But don't worry, I know just what to say. Hey, Chinese military, wouldn't it be funny if you didn't try to invade Taiwan? That would show them. 
This month marks 15 years since the publication of the book the Chinese Communist Party hates more than anything, the nine commentaries on the Chinese Communist Party. It basically lays out all the dirty secrets of the party's rise to power and the bloody grip it's kept on China for the past 70 years. The book was immediately banned and then sparked a movement where millions of people inside China have publicly severed their ties to the Communist Party. It's a fun read. I provided a link below to the English translation. A uh, phase one trade deal between the U.S. and China is looking pretty elusive right now. But apparently, that doesn't bother President Trump. Look, China's going to have to make a deal that I like. If they don't, that's it. If we don't make a deal with China, I'll just raise the tariffs even higher. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Elvis has left the building. Of course, the changes Trump wants no more theft of American technology, no more currency manipulation, etc. The Communist Party is never going to agree to those. I mean, if you're a communist regime, you lie and cheat. It's what you do. That's why some people have said the U.S. should completely decouple the U.S. and Chinese economies. A lot of people already see that as inevitable. But the Trump administration has publicly said that they do not want to decouple the U.S. and Chinese economies. Not that Trump would ever change his mind or anything. Another case of the bubonic plague has been reported in China. This is only the third official case. A hunter got it from eating a wild rabbit. But people are concerned the problem could be much larger, since China has a history covering up epidemic outbreaks. I mean, if you can't stop the disease, at least you can stop all that media coverage. Australia is ending a multi-million dollar human rights partnership with China. My first thought was, Australia had a human rights partnership with China? But China sits on the UN's Human Rights Council, so I'll just say at least Australia wised up. I hope Germany will do the same and stop aiding the Chinese military. That's another one of those things you think wouldn't be happening, but yes, it turns out there's a lot of stupidity out there. A spokesman for Germany's defense ministry said, Our goal is to share our democratic values with citizens of other countries! By training Chinese soldiers. I really don't see how that works. But at least it's better than Greece. China has been making big inroads in Greece. Earlier this month, Greek police detained Falun Gong practitioners while Chinese leader Xi Jinping was in town. Now to be clear, they were not protesting. They were just meditating in a park, because that's what Falun Gong practitioners do. I mean, Greece is a free country, except when Xi Jinping is in town. The United States is withdrawing from the Paris Climate Agreement, and now people are like, oh, China's going to be a world climate change leader. And they're right. China is a world leader in climate change. Not the good kind. The kind that's leading the world in CO2 emissions. Yes, China is number one. But just to make sure no one else catches up, China is ramping up coal usage even more. In fact, China's new coal power plants are equal to the entire capacity of the EU. Now that sounds bad, but wait. I heard that China has saved hundreds of thousands of lives by reducing air pollution. How does that make any sense? Well, what the CNN headline neglects to mention is that the study was done by Chinese scientists. Awesome! If you want to learn more about the Paris Climate Agreement, watch the episode we did earlier this week on our other channel, America Uncovered. And that does it for this week's China News Headlines. Now it's time for me to respond to one of those fans that supports the show on Patreon. Banana Pancakes asks, I think folks that are part of the 50 Cent Army should have the China Uncensored theme music as their ringtone, like a secret handshake, but more musical. Well, I think that's a great idea. If you pledge $5 to the show, you get access to the music from China Uncensored. This is one of the tracks. So sign up to support the show, download all this great music, and make it your ringtone. Troll the Chinese Communist Party every time you get a call. Thanks, Banana Pancakes, for the idea. And thanks for watching. Visit patreon.com slash China Uncensored and support the show. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.